Hello, everybody. How we doing today? Can you all see? Can you all hear? Just let me know. Had a little tiny bit of trouble right before we started, but I think we're good. Um, yeah, for some reason, my YouTube stream keeps, like, stopping, and I had to create a new one. So I'm sorry for everybody that uh, had to switch over to a new stream. But anyway, we're here. <laughs> All right, we already got a super chat. Uh, Aiden says, Hey, Eric, glad you're loving the game so far. You should try to use Saber Throw more often. Each dance has it, and each is a little different. My favorite is the Cross Guard. You should try it. Yeah, you're right. I should try that out with all the various uh, streams. Uh, is there static? I hope there's not too much static. Is it, uh, is it really... Uh, not good. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad. A little bit of static. There's a static buzz. Um, nim, nim, nim. All right, this might sound weird, but let me try to do this. Uh, how is the static now? Is it still there? It's not too bad. I hear a static. Not bad. Um, well, I gotta tell you, I cannot fix it right now. I, I wouldn't know what the uh, the problem is. Um, I can send a message and maybe someone can... Oh, no, Jake's in here. Anyway, I, I don't know if there's anything I can fix about it right now. But anyway, we will... No static on YouTube. Maybe there's a little bit on Twitch. Don't hear it. Okay. Hey, things are gonna happen. Um, and hopefully it's not too disruptive. Uh, I say that all because I cannot wait to play Jedi Survivor today. So I say we get started. Uh, Chance the Backer on uh, Super Chat on YouTube. More story, Eric, please? Or exploring? Or frog? Hmm. Uh, I think uh, heavy on story, a little exploration. I'll return to the frog when I feel it is time. I don't feel like it's time yet. So uh, let's turn around here. And I don't think I've exhausted all of the dialogue here. So I'm going to talk to some people. We should return to Kobo soon. I'll just need a moment here. So we're going to be heading back to Kobo with Marin. You're upset about our bias. Aren't you? Of course. But this is not the first life lost in our struggle. It will not be the last. I know, but we were so close here. Brother Armaya served the cause faithfully, and that service lives on through our determination to keep moving forward. What happens to the safe house now? It will be a long time before we can risk sending anyone to collect what remains. Okay, well, I mean, it does suck that the brother didn't make it, but it made for a hell of a moment between Marin and me. Cal, find Tanalor. Imagine how many lives we could save. The longer we wait, the bolder these raiders grow. I'm kind of here for these two hanging out. <laughs> Odin you know. Can't talk from, from that side, though. I'm curious to hear what you make of Dagon Garra's history. Dagon felt like his life's work was being threatened. That obsession led him astray. <laughs> Sounds all too familiar. What do you mean? You may recall that I had a vision foretelling the fall of the Order. Of the Council. Well, let's just say that my warnings fell on deaf ears. Not the first time it's In happened. In my arrogance, I felt betrayed. But you were right. That's beside the point. I allowed my wounded pride to cloud my judgment. When the purge began, I was still searching for proof that my vision was true. Instead of being there to support Seer and her Padawan. Hmm. Cal, BD well-timed. I remembered a second location oh. you might wish to explore. Okay. Another temple? Quite so. This one is in the southern desert, and it is quite magnificent. When I visited, I felt the weight of the past upon me. I am sure you will, too. Okay. Sounds incredible. Yeah? I think so. Although it was certainly simpler before the Empire increased its presence here. Of course. 
All right, so ruins in the southern desert. Good luck on Kobo, my friend. Time for us to make our move. All right, I think we are going to head to Kobo first. Oh. Oh, can't go through there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's have a look at our data bank here. Quest. We're in chapter four. This was the hidden pass path, which we did last time. Santari created a special compass to navigate the Kobo Abyss, allowing the Jedi uh, of the High Republic to establish an outpost. According to Cordova, one compass remained unaccounted for. Finding it would grant them passage through the Abyss. Marin, seeing the potential of Tantalor as a safe haven for other path refugees, joins the crew as they resolve to find the final compass. So that is our mission today. We're going to be looking for the compass, and it should be on Kobo. What do you got, Grease? There you are. Man, this is tuned to perfection and ready to go. <laughs> so where are we going? Back to Kobo. Turns out we need a special compass to navigate the abyss. A compass? Okay, sure, sure. Whatever you say, kid. Oh, and Marin's coming along. Wait, what? Mar Marin's joining us? Why didn't you tell me? I could have cleaned up the place. <laughs> oh, this is just perfect. Ah, that's funny. Uh, some more Super Chats. Uh, SKNC15 says, I ain't been dropping no spoilers, sir. Honest. But I would definitely recommend finishing all of Cage's bounties before you end the series. Yeah. Um, I'm certainly not planning on 100%ing the game, but most of that type of thing, I plan on not finishing streams until I'm fully satisfied in that regard. Um, and then Nicholas Dalton also super chat on YouTube. Good day from Australia. I've been having some rough weeks, but I'm glad I finally got to catch one of these streams. Well, thank you, Nicholas, and welcome to the streams. <clears throat> uh, I have unplugged and plugged the mic back in, Jake. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We need to head to the hollow table. Mary's with us. We can go back to Coruscant. We can go back to Coruscant. What's this? Huh. I don't know. I'm kind of... I would be curious to go back to Coruscant. Uh, so that's Jetta. That's Kobo. This is Coruscant. We're just going to go ahead and head to Kobo. Kobo. So, it is exciting to go back to Corso. The Mantis has changed. Oh yeah, Cal and Boat, they ain't exactly the cleaning types. I cleaned this morning. Wait, did I? <laughs> no, I didn't. That, that's on me. Marin, I didn't know you were coming. Hey, maybe I'll pick up some SCAS steaks. Why'd you join back up anyways? Seer and I believe Tanalor could be a refuge for those persecuted by the Empire. Persecuted by the Empire, huh? Kinda get crowded. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. Let's do it. Time. Ooh, welcome to Kobo. Cal, Cal, so glad you're back. You missed all the action. Huh? It was horrible. What? Did something happened. The Raiders paid us another visit. <sighs> took a shine of that droid you found. <sighs> they took her, Cal. Carried her right out. She's been droid napped. My hmm? saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this. Don't down blame on. Turgle. I'm innocent, Mr. Grease. Promise. <laughs> Dagon sent them. He's after Tanalor. Uh, There's something more to see than we realized. Yeah. Something scrambled up in her memory banks. We had to rescue her. 
Once he gets what he wants, he'll scrap her for sure. It won't be easy to get her back. The raider base is in the swamp. Mm -hmm. They got it an old Luker Hulk battleship from the Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. We've seen it. Means they got a lot of firepower. As do we. She's right. Now's our time to move. Okay. I like where this is going. They already have what they came for. They're back at the fortress feeling safe, complacent. They'll never see it coming. Maybe not. But if you're wrong, then they'll be looking for payback. Not to worry. I will stay here and look after Grease and the others. You sure? Okay. I think you two can manage. Just don't let him swim without supervision. Let me know if you need help. My sucks. Name's Mosey. Marin. All right. I'll scout ahead. Meet you there. Okay. The Lucra Hulk. The crew return to Kobo to discover that in their absence they have kidnapped Z, fearing Z will be scrapped once Dagon rediscovers. She knew nothing of the compass. Cow and Bo decide to launch a daring strike into the raider base itself and abandon Lucra Hulk to rescue Z. Let's do it, David. Keep droiding that. <laughs> You're right. They've droidnapped my new friend. There's the Luker Hulk over there. Um, okay, so really quickly, this is my outfit for today. And um, I should say, too, that um, right before stream, I was doing a little bit of customization on my lightsaber. And uh, I changed around BD a little bit and my blaster. So this is the current loadout and look of my blaster. I know that I can toggle attachments, which I do have on right now. And uh, yeah, this is the look of my lightsaber right now. Uh, I tried to make something that would both honor uh, my master, but also be a lightsaber that I personally would, you know, would 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 want to wield. I, I really like this uh, this design that we got going on here. So, I think it looks kind of cool. I, I really like it. Uh, personally, I would probably have the grip up towards the blade. Uh, I've never liked when you're holding with the one hand, having it so far down. It just doesn't make any uh, martial sense to me. But uh, in terms of what Cal wants and what I want, this is my current lightsaber. It would be a good change. Uh, and I don't know what exactly happened how it happened but it turns out I'll show you outside I must have pressed the wrong button because I turned on my lightsaber before we started too and it's very blue it is not seeing anymore it's more pure blue and you know what I'm just gonna say it was the will of the force I think Cal's lightsaber has just gone a little bit more blue because it's pretty it clashes well with his red hair. And we are going to go find our new friend. All right, let's have a look at our map here. Um, I can see that we need to head this way now that we can get past certain things. I should probably just uh, fast travel to that meditation point because I want to get well into this game today. Um, which means that I have to go in here. And we'll go down to the meditation point that's uh, down here. A lot of new faces. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. Yeah, you're right. We do have a new botanist on the rooftop garden, but I have a friend Focus. that needs help now. So we're going to head down to fast travel. Uh, and we are heading what direction is that? Or this way. The 
courtyards over here. I think we'll make it if we, uh... Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna go right here. Crap. All right, the Devastated Settlement. Um, Mr. Sam Storm on Twitch. I love the way you play the game and approach outfits and lore reasons for the way you make Cal act. It's the same way I approach things. It makes me feel more connected to the character. And damn it, it just feels right. Much love, Eric. Glad you're enjoying the game. Oh, yeah, awesome, Mr. Sam Storm. Yeah, I I just love to immerse myself. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. It almost kind of feels like the way I've been playing... Um, Tabletop RPGs. Just let the character take you, and you can have some really interesting stuff happen. Alright, so can I get to the Lucra Hulk from here? Uh, yes, I need to go backwards, though. I think I'm going the right way. Okay. Um, let me use this guy. We're going to go over here, get some air, do an immediate turn, get more air, and now we're making our way backwards. And we're going to skip this battle. And now we're on our way. Um, I don't think I've missed anything by doing this, but it's possible, I suppose. I, I missed some type of interaction coming the more conventional way, but here we go. I like coming to Kuba here. Kuba here. At, why am I saying it incorrectly? Hobo here at night. <laughs> well, there it is. Yep. Is it? Got your mark. I'm coming in. You made it. Anyone spot you? Me? <laughs> Not a chance. What are we dealing with? Any sign of a droid? All right. Do we see a service gantry? Could be a way in. It's the best option I can see. Only way to the Luker Hulk is through this swamp. For you, maybe. You want to ride, BD? <laughs> <laughs> when you're ready, make a move on that gantry. I'll be watching. Copy that. Man, the game looks even better at night. It's one way not to get mud on your boots, huh? I would say that it's probably not the best now strategic. The rescue Z. It's probably not the best sense to uh, to sneak into places with a giant LED on my back, but you know what? We love our droids, so we will go. Oh, look at that gunship! Oh, I'm so ready for this. Really get a sense of how big these things are. All right, uh, all right, let's go. We want to avoid the swamp. Live in the swamp. I guess our friend here makes it work. Okay. See that building, buddy? Yes, someone does live here. Or did once. <sighs> Stav! Come on. Oh no! There we go. Well, something for the garden. 
Dude, this swamp probably has some great fish. Dangerous spot to catch a fish. Nay, dangerous fish to catch a sport. <laughs> sure. I that one sweat the line, but sarcasm is weak, mate. Besides, I've gathered my focus from a quarry to fill some blotsome crab. Lots one of, of my crab. Own crew, a mate on the grapnel, once tried to pluck a crab from the sea foam when suddenly, wham, overboard she went. Get that crab, buddy. Yeah. I do want to read this. Some fish adapt where others die. In the swamplands of Kobo, most died. But not the glotsum crab. The solitary mollusk. It finds a home whatever ser it finds a home in whatever serves as a makeshift shell. In the now mired swamp of Kobo, such homes can take the form of discarded items, pieces of broken machinery, or most disturbingly, the shells of other long dead mollusk. Okay, cool. So we can take its shell and a lot of different stuff. That's cool. Crab yanked him by the nostril. Sometimes you have to strike first, no? Uh, we're not Cobra Kai. Do you really believe that? A uh, flexible compass may not serve you on the roiling waves of Manan. Manan. But it does make the seas of the soul easier to brook. We know no. Manan from Kotor. Alright, you guys ready for the next chapter? Let's do Aye. it. So we return to my time on the grapnel. Against the protestations of my heart, I forsook the road in line for the harpoon. For years, we trawled the outer rim, sparing every fish that happened across our path. Talented as I was, I spared more fish than the rest of the crew. Put together, fool as I was, I didn't have the wisdom to be ashamed. The dread captain, Wanyak Wet, took notice. He showered me in brevet, gave me the best of catches, and scarcely a year after I left Sakavi Tar, I became his first mate. Mm. Shortly after my promotion, we were on our way to Manan to sell the carcass of a goober fish. Goober fish? But, wham! Just as we dove out of hyperspace and the great ocean world streaked into view, so did she. She? The most glorious creature I'd ever beheld. A whale of marvelous proportion. But swimming through Manan's orbit like it was nothing but an easterly current battle. Like literally a whale? I was transfixed. No kidding. How close did you get? Honey, you should ask. I didn't have long to set my eyes about before he crashed headlong into her. The grapnel bounced off her like chum of flotsam. We plummeted down to the ocean, sundering the grapnel on the sea floor, where a gang of pirate quarren were holed up. The filthy Zephyrs. <laughs> the story's we getting good. The hull and found themselves surrounded by quarren, demanded all manner things, including our bounty of fish. So, away we swam, Captain White, the crew, and myself. But, blind as we were at such depth, we shortly ran into a dead end, finding ourselves surrounded by Quarren. Find me again, and I'll continue the tale. <laughs> ah! Dang it. You know, I mean, he is a fisherman, and the big fish stories are usually very exaggerated, but I think I trust him. I wonder if he met a Purgle. The only other thing I can think of is... I don't know. I don't. What was that thing in Solo? The Suma. Suma something? Suma Gamma Morph? I can't remember exactly what it was called, but. That thing generally stays in Nebula. I don't know if it would be around Manan. Which Manan is cool too, because that's uh, one of my favorite planets from Nice Old Republic. With the. Uh, the Selkath, I think, was the name of that species that was there. And we've seen them in uh, Star Wars canon now, too. Oh, 
All right, this burner is still going. More raider effigies. How much do you think this is worth? Nothing's worth crossing the raiders. Now move. Risky business. Two prospectors were investigating the swamp, seeing if they could haul chunks of the broken lucre hulk away to sell and risking the ire of the raiders in doing so. This doesn't do anything right now, does it? I'm probably probably have to activate it from up there or something. You know, I'm I am just now noticing that BB-8 does hide his LED a lot. And you know, I use a giant laser sword, so stealth isn't the uh, highest of priorities. We gotta check out Let's check this place whoever's out. here. I'm not leaving you here. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Zig's here. But we must find my data pad. Can't we just get you a new one? Absolutely not. My entire life is on that data pad. Oh, I said BBA. I meant BD1. My bad. <laughs> a lot of droids in the brain. Okay, let's see what they have to say here. Something about a missing data pad. Cal, what are you doing out here? I could ask you the same question, Zig. I came out here to look for Z. Yeah, me too. Ahem, and I am Winnie Eres. Winnie. Cal, was it? We've only just met, but I could use some assistance. Okay. What do you need? I was told there's a bird in this swamp that spots a resplendent blue marsh. But when I try to get a closer look at one, it snatched my data pad and flew away. Where'd it go? They've got a nest at the top of a spire nearby. I'd go, but Winnie here says I gotta stay by her side. Yes, yes, that spire there. It's so close, yet so far. I'll see what I can do. You okay. shine like the stars. Oh, <laughs> that's a Coruscant saying. Perhaps a more simple. Thank you, Carl. Okay. One of the saloon's patrons, Zig, was last seen. Yeah, okay. So this is just part of the room. Got it. All right, let's talk Good more. Luck finding that data pad, Cal, and be safe. Those gliders perch in high places. Please, that data pad contains all my designs, not to mention my reference data bank. Without it, I'll be starting all over from scratch. I mean, even more than I already am. Okay, we'll look for that data pad. Ooh. I can't oh. move that. Oh no! There's no other way up to the pillar okay. either. Okay. I thought this was gonna sink when I saw it was red. <laughs> oh, wrong button. What? What is it? Oh. Oh, there is a crash vulture droid here. Manufactured in the cathedral factories of Zichar, the variable geometry uh, self-propelled battle droid was the main starfighter support of the Separatist forces in the Clone Wars. The swamp surrounded the Lucre Hulk. The swamp surrounding the Lucre Hulk is littered with them, suggesting they were thrown clear during the battleship's descent to Kobo. Okay, so we can move this at a certain point, but that point is not right now. Hastily abandoned site. Whatever prospectors were doing here, it seems either the nearby raider presence or the swamp tar proved to be too much. The prospective site has been abandoned and seemingly in a hurry. Yep, okay. Stuff's down here.
You ever been in a ship this big before, buddy? Been a long time for me. I'm oh, looking forward to it. But Z's in there. We're not leaving without her. I'm so here for the Clone Wars aesthetic. I think that will take me back. Shortcut unlocked. Uh, let's see. Ruskin Tater says, Like you, I also changed my outfit for every story arc in the game. I also grew his hair out longer and longer until I felt the time was right to trim it all down. I wanted to channel my inner Kanan. Oh, that's cool. Sweet. Um, now that I'm thinking about it and was reminded in chat, I forgot that chest earlier. I wasn't even thinking. I was so excited to get more scanning stuff, I didn't even get the chests. Let's go get that real quick now that we've opened this up. Tell me, and I mean no disrespect. But is it even possible to find a new data pad on a planet like this? <laughs> well, not new, but I bet I could find you one that works. <sighs> Very kind of you. That said, I'm afraid this yeah, one she wants that one. new one. Alright, let's actually get this. It's not an air extreme, unless he just completely misses something. Uh, ooh, drifter jet. Oh! This is pretty cool looking. I think we're going to put it on. That's awesome. I want different colors, but I love this. Yeah. Hey, we're feeling right at home in the Clone Wars setting now. I feel like... Um... Uh, can I get... I don't know if I can get up there to that meditation sphere. I did kind of want to have my uh, double-bladed stance with me, but I'm sure we'll get to a meditation sphere soonish. Because this would look really good with a double-bladed lightsaber out. Alright, let's get back there. meditation sphere right there. It does sink. Damn, this place is huge. Okay, cool. Oh, there's Bode. There you are. Ready to liberate one slightly eccentric High Republic droid? Yeah. You? Well, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> All right. We are going to change our blaster stance into the double bladed for now. We're also going to. I think that's probably it. All set, Cal? might look at my customization and now that I have this new jacket which I don't know the colors are kind of cool um maybe we should change Cal's pants uh, so Cal and match it's gonna look good these look kind of 
cool with it. A little more loose fitting. It's kind of a cool look. This is the Jedi one. And this color kind of matches the armbands. I kind of like that. Let's go with that for now. Good to go. Um, do I need to? I mean, I only have a little bit of health here, but I, I will rest still as well. Okay. Any trouble getting here? Nothing we couldn't handle. How about that swamp? Almost lost a boot. Uh, Dathomir. I've seen worse. They got stuck in a pretty nasty swamp on Dathomir. Heard Dathomir was haunted. Not my idea of a fun vacation spot. Don't let Marin hear you say that. It did change my stance, so that's good. Let's get in there. Roger, Roger. Sounds like trouble. And we like trouble. I'll go high. We're gonna take you out. Yes, scan. No Sunken AAT. The AAT battle tank was the mainstay armor of the Trade Federation and later the Separatist arsenal. This AAT, however, has found itself ensnared by Kobo's anemic and unyielding R. There's a lot to look at here. Another down. Such a warm welcome. I guess knocking isn't an option. We'll find our own way. Okay, that'll be for later. Any ideas, Cal? You smell that too, BD? Storage tanks. After claiming the Lucre Hulk, the Bedlam Raiders fashioned a makeshift dock in its lower exterior from which they could transport all manner of foul smelling and mysterious goods to and from their base. Maybe I can help. Think you can break that coupling? Let's find out. One in doubt. Keep going. Oh, he's 
You know what? I'm just not feeling the outfit right now. It just doesn't scream cow to me. I gotta go back to what I was wearing. I'm sorry. I know it might not make sense, but it's from the heart. <laughs> uh, I think I was wearing something again. Do this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to this more Kyle Katarn Jedi look that I've been going for right now. I like the form of that, but maybe it, maybe when I get other colors, I'll I'll feel more comfortable in it. Short goatee. Probably will never use it, but cool to have. All right, where are we going next, Bode? Um, I don't think we're heading out that way anymore. We're that way. Let's have a look at our map. We need to go this way. While trying to keep our head on a swivel for any collectibles that could happen. And now that we have this new way of traversal, it's possible. I don't think we can get up there. Okay possible they could hide anywhere because I can do this now so Marin decided to come after all oh, yeah she thinks Tantalor could really help the path all right but you do seem happier now that she's around <laughs> okay let's focus C needs us We don't want to talk about that, Bode. Okay. I think we can make that. Ah, oh, man, it just goes so far. It's nuts. You know. I broke into a freighter on the nav once. Yeah? Any tips? No. It was nothing like a Lucre Hulk. Not sure why I even mentioned it. Could you clear this up? Absolutely. Thank you, Bode. more than you think <laughs> no wonder they lost come on let's go i'll make sure the coast is clear Me, BD. Hanger Raptors. 
Uh, loading gantry. Okay. This is that elevator we tried to call earlier, right? Yes, it is. Let's go back up there. Uh, Russ Container said, I don't know if you saw, but they added the PS1 Episode 1 game to the PlayStation catalog. I loved it as a kid. Might make a funny stream in the future. Yeah, I loved that game. Uh, I've certainly played the hell out of it. I'm not sure if Aaron ever did, though. That might be a good one for Aaron to check out. Channel. This way, kill them. Roger, Roger. They will be eviscerated. The whole is one that understands. No mercy. Deactivating neutralization thresholds. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but it's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> Enemies nearby. Possible intrusion. Let's take them down. Stay still. Teamwork. Keep going up, yeah? Somehow. <laughs> what about that beam? BX Droid Rifle, designed for elite range support, the rifle arm BX Droid excels at covert operations and swift sniper assignments. In close quarters, they will unleash bursts of accurate, deadly blaster fire in an attempt to overwhelm or suppress the enemy. Can you push it? There. Never doubted you. Keep going. I'll scout around. Sure there are no surprises. Be careful. Okay. Load will meet me further into the looper hall. out for the electricity eric <laughs> i mean cow uh okay that was okay that was a little cursed but it was good scaling a beaten up warship just like the old days Going. 
A lot of hits. Got an invasion army over here. They could conquer a whole planet with this. Stay alert. We have reports of hostiles in the area. We're under attack here. Ready for battle. Keep this area locked down. Whatever Ravis is up to, it's drawn some unwanted attention. Any other day, stealing from those slow-minded prospectors wouldn't mean a thing. But now, they got some muscle. I can hear them buzzing around. Oh, that sounds bad. Ah, stay alert. Weapons hot. We're the Bedlam Raiders. Nobody invades our base and gets away with it. Stem, I thought I couldn't get to it. Uh, has it been a bit since the meditation point? It feels like it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, okay. All right, that's fine. We missed this. I wanted Shard. I wanted to die. I didn't want to shot. miss this. I miss a shortcut? I might have missed a shortcut. But hey, it's also fun to speedrun this stuff sometimes.
So, such a fun fight, those guys. Uh, Jordan with the super chat. What would you say is your biggest Star Wars hot take? Mine would be that Rogue One is a top three Star Wars movie. I don't think that's necessarily too hot. People really like that movie. Uh, what's my biggest Star Wars hot take? Um... Probably that the Sidious versus the Jedi Masters Mace Windu fight in Episode 3 was poorly done. I think that's probably my biggest hot take. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, this way. Did the same thing last time. Okay, got it. Nah, your Darksaber takes are the hottest. <laughs> uh, I think Darksaber is more of a preference. Like, preferences can't really be, like, I don't think too hot or cold, right? Opinions are usually more hot or cold. We're here now, huh? Yep. Oh, I wanted to go over there and look at all that stuff up close. Dang it. <laughs> uh. going through this. Ah, oh, over here. Ooh. Enforcer barrel. Shortcut, sweet. We were so close to that shortcut. Where's this door shut? It's locked or jammed or something. It won't open. There is an invader on the other side. Open it now. It's stuck. Fix it, or I will have you scrapped for parts. Yeah, open it. Oh, that's bad. Move. Remain still. Someone help me. Success delivered damage. Escape. Don't Damn, damn, damn! Buddy! Damn you, dude! Fight! I need one! Ah. You pay for that! Damn you! I'll never stop! Break! Come back and 
Then please. Then I, my parries aren't working for me. I must must be doing a really bad job with the uh, timing. Oh. Ooh, thank you so much for standing over there and not being able to attack me when my back was turned. That is very nice of you. What a fighter! <laughs> Shut up! Alright. Attack me a bunch. I need to figure out my timing on your guys' attacks. Okay. Not my day to die. Can't hit me up. Scuzzer. Pass up. All right, cool. Woo! Invader. Must be bowed. Come on. Found another shard. Uh, let's see. Over on Twitch, uh, Anarstra says, or not, or Nastra, Sta says, there is a video I saw on TikTok that shows some new Star Wars Lego sets for the 25th anniversary. That's cool. One of the sets is a mini star map set. Three ships are of the Invisible Hand, Millennium Falcon, and the Tantive Four. Ooh, the Invisible Hand is a mini starship set? That's pretty cool. Need to slice this. Get him, Bo. Get it. Okay, yeah, I'll help. <laughs> I think I just said Bo. It's Bo. Yeah. Oh, my bad. It says the Tantiv 6 in the message. You meant 4. Okay. Oh, all right. No problem. I, I corrected it for you. <laughs> um, all right. Shortcut unlocked. Let's go ahead. Probably not going to be too bad to go ahead and get healed back up here because I am out of stems. DMB Super Chat, hot take, B. Arthur didn't actually care about her cantina patrons. No, come on, she cared. This is so episode one right now. You must be happy that Marin joined the crew. Yeah, glad she wants to help us find Tantalar. I, don't you feel Wait, like- You hear that? Yep. Destroyer droids. Destroyers! Yeah, perfect. Shield. Okay, how do I do this? Can I attack through the shield? Damn. I think that's all. Damn, gal. First time I fought Droidica was with my master during the Clone Wars. I froze. He had to take them out. Yeah. Look at you now. Bet he'd be proud. Oh, Hope so. Thank you, Bode. All right, clad in brosium armor and protected by a powerful shield, the Sela, the Colacoid, 
Made droidica, known as destroy droids, are a terror on the battlefield. Their twin repeating blasters fire fast and powerful while their personal energy shield protects them from most return fire. During the Clone Wars, even the Jedi were wary of engaging a droidica head on. Where are those droidicas? I don't have a grenade to throw slowly, so my time on, uh, with, uh, Stila. I guess in the Clone Wars, doesn't pan out. Holy crap. Kyle S. with the $50 super chat. Let's see what you got here. Hi, Eric. Love everything you guys do. Longtime subscriber and patron. Watching about an hour behind, so forgive me if you already stated doing uh, this, but a helpful thing I think you missed is the exploration percentages on the map for each planet and area. Uh, thank you so much, Kyle, um, for your support. Yeah, I that is something that I, I did see. I wasn't on stream. I was just doing some customization stuff and was looking around my menus and saw that. I'm like, oh, cool. So yeah, I'll try to pay attention to that a little bit more. All right. How did this droidicas roll up or walk up these steps? Thought it be kind of funny to see, but I already destroyed them. Oh, gotta look out for ray shields. Down. You know she didn't just join to find Tantalor, right? Don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you say, Cal. I like the interactions with Bode. Buddy. Okay, little barricade here. Okay, let's see what we have here. A turbo lift. Is that who I think it is inside? Let me get a closer look. Oh, uh, is that Ravis? Yeah, Z. No, that's Where Z. Okay, go? I see Z. Okay. I was worried. I'm worried about meeting I'm Ravis here. <laughs> I see a problem down there. Droids. Ooh. We've seen worse. Check out those AATs. I've got a plan. Hey, Kyle. So I figure I make some noise, draw them away, you slip by. Regroup at the turbo lift. What do you think? It's risky. We passed risky a while back. Good luck. You too. All right, we got to get Z without having to deal with Ravis. I. I don't know how up to fighting a Gendai Cal is right now, but it's going to be scary. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. The ship won't fly, but there's a hangar full of craft. An army. Oh, ours. Ready to scour this planet for my lost master. Huh? The origins of purpose within the newly claimed Lucra Hulk. Yupa and Ravis take stock of the army they have uncovered. What ends they could achieve with it. My old master is Dagon Ravis's master? Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm that poorly. When it's time, I'll 
off signal. What signal? Trust me, you won't miss it. Okay. I uh, didn't look. What do you mean if you catch them? If you catch them, blast them, you idiot. Copy that? Oh, wow. Hey! That's the last one. You don't look good. Crash it. Well, man. Don't let him escape. Yeah, those things make battles hard. Okay. give ourselves a rest um do i want to switch up my stance a bit? <coughs> hmm I might go no i'm gonna keep what i got he knows how to make an entrance yep That's the signal, all right. I was just having a look at other stuff, but that's the signal. Thanks. Seems to be. This is triggering my force unleashed too. Oh! jumped there. I had no idea where I was going. Um, wait, uh, I don't think I can get over there, but I can get over here. Nothing I can do here. make my way over that one. Okay. Let's 
get this. Now to test my work. Droid. Kill them. Roger, roger. Damn. Upon reprogramming the Lucre Hulk army to serve him, Ravis then sought to test whether his work had been successful. Fully successful. Okay, where the hell do we go? A lot of red here. That energy goes away. Okay. the back of that. Okay, that's not it. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything over there of note other than that pad over there. I can't stop these things yet. Just jump. <laughs> Just jump, Eric. Just jump up there. Whoa. Examine the perimeter. Who are you? Can't stagger him with a force. Oh, you turn. You're finished. Oh, find a way to the turbo lift well let's look for one together bedlam smasher uh these guys were above the spawn of ogdo i feel like they didn't come down uh 
Okay. I need a drink. Crossguard probably would have been pretty good with those guys, yeah. All right. Bedlam Raiders are the Fist of Ravis, a brute force army designed to destroy. Nothing represents this better than the Bedlam Smasher, a heavily clad warrior armed with a massive electro hammer. The Bedlam Smasher attacks with slow swings of their weapon, but each brutal blow, if it connects, is certain to devastate their target. Okay, let's go into the core. Hey, BD, a little help? Got it. We got over there. Hey, check this out. Could you wire it up? I've got an idea. What? Over here? Okay. Now what? Damn, Bob. Good job. these buildings yeah. technical term is yurts okay living quarters saw them on Merrick nine you never seen so many yurts living quarters we're in deep now yurts it's a rudimentary habitation that can be surprisingly comfortable despite being little more than a canvas placed over load-bearing poles the nomadic planet of Mer Mereg or was known to your aficionados as a shining example of the form. So they have this giant station, but still built buildings inside the station. It's funny. Does this put me? Okay. All right, cool. I remember this. Good. Soon you will serve a new master. Within the abandoned Lucre Hulk, Ravis found himself a dormant army. What he needed to do was program to serve it. They're on to us. have gotten pretty cozy here okay 
The, uh, as a droid battleship, a Lucre Hulk class battleship lacked the need for comfort. However, the Bedlam Raiders, requiring had habitation, fashioned a crude but livable village within the ship's superstructure. Interesting. I figure a Lucre Hulk would have at least, um, like, comfort modules for Nemodians. They tend to like comfort a lot. But maybe not. Maybe that's only on their, uh, non-warships. <laughs> Though I, I, I do suppose the Nemodians just bought these ships from other companies, so. Makes sense. We'll need some living space. Homes. Homes? Sure. You've never been to Marek 9? Uh, though it was never built for creature, creature comfort, the Raiders were nevertheless determined to transform the Lucre Hulk into a space they could live, as well as we were. Okay, we can go in over there. Let's check the other side over here. Here. The fighting starts. Stay out of my way, droid. But my orders are to protect you. I've seen that aim. I'm not liking Keep that this. Of yours pointed somewhere else. Can we shoot him? Ooh. Ooh, he went to pieces. get to that room from over there, but let me see what's over here now. Awesome. Ravis only wants the intact ones. Hold on. Give me that. For his new purpose, Ravis forged an army of droids and raiders, discarding those of no use to him. Others, however, saw the potential in the broken parts left behind. Um, Aiden Dottery, Super Chat, says, Hey, just for your information, Eric, you got a Nihil data bank last stream, did I? Okay, um, yeah. Last stream, though, where would that be? Lore? I'm assuming it just says Nihil. Here it is. <clears throat> the Nihil, a faction of elusive and powerful marauders, emerged as one of the greatest threats during the High Republic era. Able to navigate hyperspace in ways others could not, they used mayhem across the Republic's fragile frontier. They caused mayhem across the Republic's fr fragile frontier, even launching a surprise attack on Tantalor. 
In the face of this unique enemy, the Jedi Council ordered a retreat from Tantalor and the destruction of all ways reaching it, choosing instead to focus their resources on repelling the Nihil threat for good. Cool. Thanks for pointing that out. Nice. All right. New Always grip. Point. We got a fight ahead, Cal. Looks valuable. Why don't I hang on to that for you? No. Nice try. Folks tend Good to catch. Take pretty low voices about him, and not for very long. Doesn't matter how far you fly, the Empire can always hear you. Not sure where there's voices from. Let's go up here. So if I am able to open that door, I can fight that guy and get that, but I can't do that yet. All right, they must have been talking down here. All right, let's see if I can get in here before trying to get down there. Slow up, enemies nearby. Yeah, yeah, baby. Ooh, Geonosian body. Enemy in sight. Whoa, good stuff. I'll never give in. No stems. Ah, damn it. This is a fun level. I really enjoy it. Time to make an example of you. 
Take this! Take them down! Somewhere quiet and peaceful, like it used to be. Almost like it used to be. Kata is his daughter, right? Let's have a look at our map here. We have a couple of different options. We cannot currently go this way. So we can go across over here. Can you get that down? Consider it done. Time to let up, Cal. Hold on. Let's miss this. All right, sweet. There's a treat stream. All right. Thank you, Jancy. I, guys, I will be right back. I have a treat stream downstairs.
All right, I'm back. Uh, that's really nice because I actually was a little hungry. <clears throat> so, let's see who got this for me. We have a steak sub from Subway. Alex in Scotland. Thank you so much, Alex. That's so nice. Let's see. I'm going to put this out beside me. Oh, uh, and a cookie. Hell yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it so that it doesn't make too much noise here. But I'm going to take a bite. You guys enjoying the stream so far? Pretty good. Eat fresh, Eric. Just did a rewatch of the Chuck reactions. Missed that show. Thank you, Casey. I hit the spot. Definitely. I always like to check shortcuts. You never know if there's going to be something here, but I know where this is now. Okay. something i don't think they like us Ruby, got something to help me how do you think those other compasses went missing my credits are on santari cree no kidding. If she sends Z to that back to tank, maybe there's more to the story. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can go very far over here, but we'll check it out. See where we can go. 
Might be a shard or something this way. If I can make that. I cannot. Luckily, Jedi can see the future, and I can tell that Cal can't make it there. Uh oh. So we rescue Z, get out of here, find mm -hmm. Tantalor, and then what? I'm just taking it day by day. Maybe figure something out with Mary? Uh, she's got her path, I've got mine. Yeah, I've heard Jedi avoid attachment. But... That's right. So don't forget who you really are. What's that supposed to mean? It means trust your heart. Things are only getting worse out there. Life is precious. And so is happiness. I wish it were that simple. It is that simple. If you see a future with Marin, embrace it. I don't understand. I, I can't just... Uh-oh. Boat. Hey, Clankers. Over here. A little further. Perfect. Perfect. All right, Boat. Thanks. Who did I'll this? look for another way around. You find that droid. And stay alive. Alright. Man, I've really... And okay, now I do gotta make it over there. <laughs> Alright, Boone. Ooh, okay, that... So... I can't continue here. Now I'm worried that I'm... Yeah, it wants me to go up this way. Let's continue this way for a bit. Oh. Okay. Thank you for the light, buddy. This isn't very inviting. Anyone's been back here in a while, buddy. The droids from the force droid. Okay, not that way then. Okay. gonna destroy Z to get what he wants. He's obsessed. Yeah. We shouldn't have left her at the outpost. Yeah, we gotta find Z. We have to get her back. I'm being funneled. This is very Empire Strikes Back right now. Isolate Luke from R2 and then funnel him where you want him to go. line there it is what do you want with that that that's Dagon's order this is for me ah! Ah! 
Yeah. Oh, man, that's so cool. BD? Nice one, BD. Holy crap! What a move! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, can't see, don't know where to go. Clever. Sometimes the solution to a problem lies in how it's framed. Always consider the situation from multiple angles. What R1 and then X to slam destroy the turrets. Huh. Ah. You just gotta hit him really hard, Cal. Throw me spin BD. Okay, nice. Always giving me a new perspective, eh, Seer? I'm good, buddy. Let's go. Okay. That one was, wasn't was as seamless a revelation for me. <laughs> Use the force harder. Okay. Well, I mean, I get it, but... All right. The generator underbelly. I need to focus. We need to focus. Al is going to rest. I am going to take a bite. Like, I assume we were going to get a force power up. So, okay, let's uh, do skills. Hmm. Second lightsaber throw around cow. I definitely want this. That is cool. I like that. Then let's go over to survival. We'll do maximum life increase. That's good. I feel good about those two. All right. Uh, we still have almost an hour of stream left, so let's keep going. Tuner back. Give some access to everything Cree locked down. Yeah. What? What is it, bud? What are you looking at? Nice job. 
Landing Hydraulics. A Lucre Hulk class battleship is designed so the central sphere can detach and land independently. As such, the core is equipped with several massive landing struts and gigantic hydraulics, of which take up a large chunk of the core's interior. More force essence. We just got more life essence, so we're doing pretty good. Oh, thought I hit that. Is that not what I'm supposed to do? There we go. Okay, back down here. Okay, cool. Huh. That's so interesting. Maintenance path should get us topside. I think. We can trade this at Doma shop. Oh, 
no. Okay. Um. That. And that. Oh, <laughs> that's so anti Plo Koon right there. Your life is forfeit. Get up there. Finish it. That's the be well. This is you. If I just... There. Sorry, old droid, but I promise you're gonna live on. Droid reborn. To the talented and determined mechanic, even a wrecked droid could find new purpose. A gun platform can be fashioned, for instance, from a droidica's pneumatic blaster arm. It's not opening. Thank <laughs> you. 
Quit targeting that one. Oh, damn, some of those finishers are so satisfying. Okay, is this where Z was? Boat? Boat, can you hear me? Must be out of range. Or they're jamming our comms. I hope he's okay. I'm sure he's okay. But for now, we have to go it alone. Maybe we can get to that turbo lift now. Okay. We'll rest here. Centauri, your work is unparalleled. Ooh. But sending a droid instead of facing me yourself, such cowardice. A small price to pay for her sparing your life. Tell me, did the Jedi's death satisfy you? He escaped. All those years of incarceration dull your edge. Sharp enough to see the Jedi might be your equal. Say it again and I'll cut out your tongue. It'll grow back. <laughs> <laughs> Dagon, listen. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. I already duplicated the device's frequencies. We can now access any site she sealed. Well done, Ravis. You, activate the forest array. Go to the Shattered Moon. I know where Centauri hid the last compass. Dagon. After you have it, I will consider my oath to you fulfilled. Fulfilled? What then, old friend? The galaxy has changed. There are many wars, but little honor to be won from them. Okay. And once we are on Tantalor, perhaps we can dream up a new war. You and I. <laughs> perhaps. You know, I did like the way he Before ended I go, the last scene. Before I go, scrap the droid? No. Centauri must have purged the droid's memory bank. Has no knowledge of the compass. I will tear it down to the bolts and reprogram it to serve me as it once served her. Mm. 
Hmm. Okay. All right. Interesting. Gendai are a species about which little is known. What is understood, however, is that they do not seem to age and die as other organics do, and that they are mostly amph uh, amphorous, amphorous, being no more than a huge mass of nerves. They are nearly indestructible and only die when their core nerves are severed or their bo bodies are utterly and completely... Ugh. Man, hiccups. Utterly and completely destroyed. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. So, Ravis has an oath to fulfill to Dagon. He seems to be concerned with honor. If I remember correctly, the way that he ended the confrontation outside of the canteen back at the settlement was kind of interesting. Hmm. Amorphous. That's how you say it. Amorphous. An oath fulfilled. For centuries, Ravis has owed Dagon an oath of service. Once the compass is in Dagon's possession, Ravis will consider this oath fulfilled. Yet, the Gendai warrior confesses that there is little honor to be won in the galaxy these days. I don't know if that's what I was meant to do, but that's what I did. Seas close. Oh, okay, I get it. Another shard. Okay. Now I can probably make it to that one over there. Ah, damn it. Ugh. I cannot make it over there. Um, is that where I'm supposed to go? Answer was yes. <laughs> Forward control tower. Emergency landing, the Lucre Hulk uh, Primacy, having entered the Kobo system too close to the Abyss, began being pulled apart by the gravitational forces. In a latch ditch move, the remaining bridge crew detached the core, planning to emergency land on the planet below. Focus. All right, let's get a rest in.
Oh, I hope this is the right way. Gotta get my steps in. Damn, that's a long elevator. <laughs> Do I have to just go right back up? this that's worth it very worth it uh okay yeah 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 i remember this now yeah let's go back up Dagging could be anywhere. Ready, BD? If you're ready, I'm ready. Escape pods. Yeah. Might come in handy. The towers atop the Lucre Hall core were primarily for communication, high-level administration, and ship control. As such, an executive suite of escape pods is available for the high command in the need of a swift departure. Okay. Looks like this door can be open. Not yet. All right. No. All right, Z. Or Z. hurry, Hal. He's going to reprogram me. That droid is mine. I suppose I'll rescue myself. So you survived Ravis. How? The usual. You murdered your fellow Jedi. I struck down those who stood against me. Leave us or share their fate. Even if you believe the Council betrayed you, they were still your family. How arrogant that you would presume to know what drives me? What I can see is your obsession with Tantalor has blinded you. Whatever happened, you can't change the past. Trust me on that one. Perhaps you're right. The past is a chain. Ah. Uh, I must sever it completely. And my chains are broken. <laughs> Love the sound design. The tuner is mine. Oh, the tuner oh. is mine. We need that. We need that. Z. 
Okay. Luckily, there's tubes here. All right. This is a good place to fight. Hang on, Z. Bring it on, buddy. I'm not afraid of you. The force is with me. Ah! The force is with him. Test me again. Waste of my time. Sense your fear. I don't think so. Can you still fight? Trivial. Scared. Hmm? <laughs> Telegraph so much with a double bladed like this. How dare you? You're slipping. How small. I pity you. Oh. You're weak. Buddy. Does it hurt? Break you. Weak. as ever. You've delayed me long enough. You lost and you know it. You could carry me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. Thanks. Uh. Two warriors at the height of their powers <laughs> bound in brotherhood. This is the stuff of legends. Z. Oh my god. Meet you up there. That was a fun battle. I assume we'll have many more. Obsession. The fallen Jedi faces Callan Bode in the Lucre Hulk. On the trail of the last remaining compass, Dagon is fueled by an obsession to return to Tanalor. Only got one stem left, though.
Okay. Uh, I guess we head this way. Come on, Z. Let's keep moving. Perhaps that's why Dan and Gary is positively mad. He kept going on and on about some compass. Your master created them to navigate the abyss. This is the first I'm hearing about it. She purged that knowledge from your memory. That would explain it. Well, Dagon is certain that she left a compass for him to find. Let's hope so. Dagon sent Ravis to check out another array on the moon. Maybe we'll find it there. Yeah. Back to the moon. Great. Oh, Master Kree. Why did you send me to free that traitor? People are complicated. Maybe she thought the Order got it wrong. Ah, oh, escape pods. If only we could ask her. If only we could ask her. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Safest way out of here. Sure about that? No. Okay, then. You see Nervous? We're going with him. Hop aboard, Z. See you at the outpost. Yep, I'm coming. Okay, escape pod. I hate these things. Yeah, Cal would hate this. This is his Order 66 escape, right? Is the escape pod. PTSD. Come on, buddy. You got it. This is why I still have my master's lightsaber. He still protects me. Uh. The heck of a way to get back. <laughs> Never do that again. Dagon must have sent Ravis to get the compass. Maybe the force array powers something on the moon. Uh, it's a guess. But if Ravis is on his way there, that's where we need to be, too. Mm hmm. Realization, while Cal squares off against Dagon Gera, Z manages to free herself. In the aftermath, she realizes that Centauri Kree went against the wishes of the Jedi Council and wonders what would have possessed her master to spare Dagon Gera. Uh, cool. All right, uh, there was a thing that I can now lift. Listen to this. In the reach. Wow. It must have been delightful growing up on a planet with so many colors. Don't get me wrong. I used to adore Coruscant. But all that neon? It's a bit harsh on the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Whoa. We, um are still looking for a data pad. Ah, I couldn't get to that one. Hey, that was nice of him. So you're from Coruscant, huh? That's right. Did you? Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. 
Gotta be quick. Oh no! I wasn't quick! Ugh. Ugh. Looks like a data pad to me. Yeah. Or what's left of one. Come on, let's go break the news. Damn, okay. That's what they were looking for. Right there the whole time. Uh, let's see. We have Waka Flocka Chewbacca with a super chat on YouTube. Fun fact, the voice of Bode is also the voice of Admiral Rampart in the Bad Batch. Also, may the Force be with you. Oh, cool. Thank you, Waka Flocka. So that was uh, Rampart's voice actor. Um... Where else do I know him from? I remember recently talking about an actor and being like, oh, he did Rampart, but it wasn't. I can't remember. Hey there. Bad news, Winnie. Data pad was supposed to be on repair. Oh. My designs, they're lost forever. Sorry, Winnie. I'll try to scrounge something up for you back at the outpost. Thank you again. Don't mention it. Winnie Ayers, an interior designer who left the glitz and glamour of Coruscant. Winnie is always ready to apply her skills to beautify her surroundings. Yeah, she might be useful back at the settlement. We'll see you back at the cantina, perhaps. After this ordeal, <laughs> I know I could use a refreshment. Monk makes him strong. Hmm. Is this a monastic planet? <laughs> All right. See them back there. And rests. Well, there's a Jedi temple of some sort over there. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, in the stream with a Jedi temple. Welcome, Jedi. To be still as Chamber to become, connection. To allow for wisdom to spring forth. Yet the galaxy is seldom static. Motion, however, can provide clarity. Let truth flow like a river, and carve new channels around any obstacle. Okay, let's see what we can do here.
Okay, um... lock from the other side. Don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Burn! Is it, it, it is this working? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can go over here now. Defy the council. Dagon Gara feels he must do what is right. Master Rancisus won't allow it. As Dagon Gara ushers in defiance of the council and Kobo readies for evacuation, two Jedi fret over the rising crisis. like a river what does that mean if i don't figure this out i'll never become a jedi knight
A Padawan grapples with the lessons that Centauri Kree is trying to impart, as they also struggle with the logistics of the chamber itself. Shortcut unlocked, okay. Wrong button. Um, okay, so that's there now. Now what? I need to clear this up. And then there's also the issue of down there. Can't burn that stuff from here, right? Maybe I need to put it back in. I need to clear this up over here. So I think it's pretty obvious that I can't put that stuff here. Put it over here either, can I? got that and now we need to figure out what to do up there okay I have this shortcut unlocked Seems obvious that you're meant to do this. But why? To get back over here. And then I need to clear this out. These are still water right here.
Hmm. Am I... Am I, am I missing something, or do I have all the tools available to me right now? I mean, I have to assume that I gotta put it back down there and then work. Like this is a chamber of connection, right? So I need to work over to here. But why even have it here like this? I have this bridge. literally get back up over here, so I don't need... Hmm. It's a chamber of connection. So I gotta get the fire up there to break. The fire only comes out when I have this down here, right? So I suppose I need to get the fire from over there to here, and then I can just bring it up to here, I suppose, but I, I feel like that's going to be very difficult. But what's the point of the bridge?
Ah, I don't think so. Mm, that doesn't that doesn't feel right. I feel like I'm cheating. Feels like cheating. Is that the way of? I, I I won't have a problem with anybody telling me if that is the way I need to do it, or is there a simpler way that I'm not thinking of? I surely need to move this, right? This has to go back up up there. You surely got to pick this up and put it here, which creates that. Hmm. I suppose I could bring it up this way. Have it burn. Try to grab that, put it there, have it burn up to there. Maybe. If we can be quick about it. No, 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 no. Okay. Got it. Now bring this across with me. It does burn here. Okay. Connection. This is a chamber of connection. We have now connected the two halves of the room. And we have brought the fire. Yes. Woo. All right. That was fun. Uh, Ron Alexander, Super Chat. Hey, Eric. Been, been watching your Jedi Survivor streams and glad to catch a live. Hope you go on for a bit more tonight and have fun. Thank you, Ron. I've been having so much fun tonight. We just completed this Jedi Temple. We got the chest, so I'm feeling happy. Uh, it is after nine, so I'm not going to be going on much, much longer, but we'll see uh, as we head back towards the settlement what there is to see. Right. Let's see here. The escape from this area is down here. I guess I just jump over there.
I don't know if I'm going the right way. Ugh. Get me up there. Get me up there. The button. Yes. Woo. dark of the swamp seemingly aimless tar pits come a creature so mysterious and terrifying it caused prospectors to flee in reality it's a sticky boggling are you okay buddy you need to get cleared yeah i want a pet i want to clean do i just gotta help you out what, what do we do here Interact. I don't bite, I promise. Okay, maybe we... Where'd he go? I, I didn't see anything. What happened? I saw nothing. Over here. Oh, stem and two of those wampas. Well, I missed that. Hmm. Well, maybe the sticky boggling wasn't exactly the the monster they were talking about. Ah, uh, bet. Let's do it. This is going to be a tough fight, but I think it's doable. I think it's doable. It's a little bit better than I did whenever... Oh, I'm over here. Uh, okay. Oh, 
wrong button. Ow. No. R1 and triangle. Uh, oh, I'm going to... I didn't get up there. Dang it. I'm stuck now. I'm going to die. Am I, do I just die? I, I just die. I just die. R1 triangle. I must be my button presses must have sucked. Okay. That'd yeah, be nice if there was a Give me luck, Boggling! I think it's doable. Uh, Justin, super chat. Completely unrelated, but I need the last podcast episode to happen. Also, have you heard about the Doc One Losses coming later this year? Uh, I believe so. Um, yeah, no, I really want to connect with Serge from the Normies about getting on a lost podcast, but all right, hopefully we're not here too long. <laughs> or else maybe I'll have to start a stream next time with this, but I will do my best. Two hits.
<laughs> Should be much easier now. <laughs> I doing something wrong? Why isn't it? Apparently, respawn it. It's loading really, really long, really, really long way. There we go. Okay. Freaking me out. I'm disengaging like from the targeting because I wanted to run around and try to grab my uh, my experience there but that did not happen No, fuck. Why did I try to be quick? Yes. Okay, that gets me.
two, 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 two. Need an assist. Get, get out, get out of there! No! BD, I need help. I'm so nervous. I, I need to. Don't worry. Don't be nervous. One, two. one was the best one the best one we will do it hopefully before 9 30. I don't know if I have confusion for large animals yet. I can try, though. That's not a fun way to win. me stem 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 another stem here you go yeah stem 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 Stim, stim. Boggling. Oh, poor little buddy. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. All right, let's head back this way. Where do you take it? Over there?
Hell of a level. Hell of an area. We were here pretty much all stream, but definitely feels like it was worth it. I feel like the easiest part of it was the boss battle. We can lift a lot of these now, huh? All right, back at the gorge crash site. Oh. Huh. Ah! Howdy. You got any priorite on you? Can't say I do. Uh, then you're nothing. Me? I got a lift. Worked all day for it. Can I see it? <laughs> okay, I lied. I'm fresh out. I'm uh. a failure. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> we started the stream. We shall end the stream. Scuba Stev! Stay a wandering boots, my lad, and answer old Scuba. Do I strike uh, cutting fishermen? Not sure what you mean. Me appearance, lad. Does it warm your shallows? Does it put a sea spray on your face? You look nice. You look nice, Scuba. I told the felt new to Greece, laddie. I'll have to master all my seaward charms if I have to lure it into my grasp. I believe in you. Real neat. Seems it liked you. Uh, the frilled new is technically not a fish, but a salamander. Quite a distinctive one at that. Nevertheless, they frequent the rock pools and waters of Kobo's Dregger Gorge to rest and to hydrate. It is here they are most often caught, as when on land, they are entirely too evasive to fend down. All right, let's get right, part of the story. I'm not surprised. It is a great talent of mine. You see, the frilled newt is the most sensual of sea folk, skittish, except when it spies a potential meat. Hence my great vanity on this day. It is a shame to deceive him, but I can't offer a quiet home in my tank <laughs> as a recompense. Sounds oh, good. Oh, that's me. funny. Now, shall we continue my Yes! Meal? So, Scuba, whatever happened with the pirates? So there we were, far quarren, armed with spears, each way a mine to make a mantle be some a wee rubbery head. Mm -hmm. I looked over to me, Captain, and he stared right back, waving his arms like a, a goober fish in heat. At the harpoon I held in my hand. Oh, for a black instant, I considered nailing those pirate quarren to the rocks with my harpoon. <laughs> but something stopped me from pulling the trigger. Perhaps it was the sparkle that caught my eye. The sparkle of a passing glumbrigil. What would those pirates say to a whole school of glumbrigils? A crackle of the sparkle as they be, thought I. So I opened my wee mouth and emitted the mating call of the eel. You speak eel? Aye, but I forgot to turn on me calm. We scrivener alone has the cry. But bad demented expression put such a fright on the quarren that it dropped the blasters. By the time they'd come to the census, we were swimming away as fast as our <laughs> flippers could carry us. It was only later, as we fled aboard the Zephyr schooner, that I realized how close the real danger was. But I shall continue my tale <laughs> next time. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh my goodness. Whew. Hmm. Well, now that I know what that is, where does it take me? Oh, hey! Okay, maybe he doesn't take me anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. 
All right. I think that is where we're going to end it. Right here. This meditation circle, which was the first in Kobe. And rest. I'm pretty tired. I think that was a pretty fantastic stream. Um, let's see. I feel a little more confident in terms of traversal. Uh, we can get through some more puzzles that I found here on Kobo. Though there's still the problem of the floating platforms. Those are still something that I don't know exactly how to deal with yet. So we'll have to figure out what happens when uh, when we get there. But um, I was thinking maybe, uh, maybe next stream continuing on the story a little bit and seeing if I can get to something that deals with those floating platforms and then have like a good hard uh, exploration like stream on Wednesday, maybe. Uh, Olson Media with a super chat. By the way, a foolproof cure for hiccups is to take 15 to 20 tiny sips of a drink as fast as you can. If you're still there, do it again. Works 100% of the time. Well, yeah, if you keep doing it over and over again, eventually your hiccups do, they do stop. So 100% of the time. Well, thank you so much. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, we have uh, a fun stream plan tomorrow on the main Blind Wave channel, uh, which is the normal podcast time. But specifically, that podcast is going to be all about Attack on Titan. So if you're interested in hearing us talk about all things Attack on Titan on a podcast, come back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. That's it. I hope you guys had a great uh, time, and I hope you have a great rest of your night. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.